beauty of Donna that she was, uh, and she, also she knew she was nothing special, and that was all right, really. But she, I always felt she had this, uh, she, she kind of had the feeling that she was capable of great things. And I think it was so beautifully written, the way uh, between the, the runaway bride and then the first episode, how, how Russell brought that together. Because when I did the runaway bride, nobody knew I was going to come back as a, uh, as a full-time companion. It was just a one-off gig, and, and, and that was it. But then it all kind of paid off so beautifully, and I think that's the most amazing thing about Russell's mind. But yeah, she was an ordinary girl plucked out of you know an ordinary life, and uh, and, and and achieved extraordinary things. Of course, the tragedy is she doesn't remember any of it, which was a, which was a heartbreak, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think a lot of us are still upset about. Yeah, it, it was. It's absolutely devastating. You know, and, but so brilliantly written again that. The last thing we see of Donald, certainly in the in the series, not in the not in the specials when she came back, was she was just right back to as she was. There'd been no growth, and that's the heartbreak of it. That she'd seen so much and done so much, but actually, actually achieved nothing in her own. <coughs> so. But you did bring her back for some big Finnish audio dramas. I did. We did. David and I did it together. Um, it was a joy, and it was just—it was lovely. It was like old time. Yeah. Well, let's go to audience question. We have the.